Hello, welcome to another video by Moxon Marine. In this video, I'm going to be removing a 5.0 liter um, multi port fuel injection engine. It's similar to one I've done already. Uh, doesn't look like it's got the single point drain system. Not sure about that. Um, actually, I don't think it does because it this got this right here, but um, that's beside the point. So, I'm getting pre uh, prepared to pull the engine out. The, the problem with this engine is it has a hole in the oil pan, and the only way it fixes is to pull the motor out and uh, replace the oil pan. So, um, as it was brought to me, the uh, starboard exhaust manifold was already removed. The port manifold is still there. Um, and to remove it, I'm going to start by removing the uh, exhaust uh, elbow back there, uh, or just loosen it from the vertical clamp so it'll pull straight out. Um, this side's already been taken off, obviously. Um, then I'm going to be disconnecting the fuel line right down there. I better take these two, uh, actually these might just unplug and can be pushed to the side. That's that looks like it might do that. So I'll just do that there. Um, just remove these two plugs and that whole unit will just move out to the side. Gonna disconnect the throttle cable off the, uh, off the engine there. So we'll take a picture of uh, how it's connected there and how it's connected there. And then it'll come right off. Um, as far as the wiring, you unplug the harness back. That, there's the plug right there to move disconnect the harness from the boat and then you got your uh, I believe those are your trim tilt connections there or it might be your trim uh, that's your uh, trim sensor I think and then uh, looking back here I think the water this water connection is gonna be like an alpha it's an alpha one drive so uh, the water disconnects right down there there's the clamp that comes off the side of that power steering cooler um, I see now that the power steering lines are going to be a pain in the tail because they're not uh, quick disconnects. They're threaded and then they're rusted as hell. Um, may not be able to get those loose. Don't know. So let's see. Um, and then obviously there's probably there's a battery connection right there on the starter. I'll be taking that loose. And then there's a negative cable somewhere on the back of the engine. I'll be taking that loose. And then this engine will pull right out. So I'm going to get started. First, I'll do the throttle cable, then loosen the exhaust, the fuel. And go from there. Oh, also you got your your uh, your oil there reservoir. I like to pull that off and kind of lay it to the side so I don't have to disconnect anything. And it may be a little trouble with all the way this line's running through all there. I might have to just uh, figure out another way to do that. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'll figure that out when I get to it. Okay, in case I didn't get a clear picture before, the wire that says analog trim. Is going to this trim sensor wire and the other one was this black wire with the male butt was going to the other side there the other two wires here are both females because they so they won't fit on that left or female but the one that is connected the male that or the uh the female that is connected is uh excuse me analog trim okay there are four connections on that stud two yellows and two smaller blacks the thicker black is in the, is the very back the I think the thicker yellow is next. Yes, the the very back is the uh, thicker black. The next is the thick yellow. The next is the thin yellow. And the very the last on the front is the smaller black. You see it right down there. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, I've already I, what I did is I loosened the uh, ignition coil from those two holes there. And pull the ignition out, ignition coil out to get to it. All right, everything's disconnected on this boat except for the front motor mount there, which is pretty rusted. I might have to hit it with some PV Blaster or W40. The power steering hose is there, and it's a possibility I might disconnect the hose at the power steering pump and leave that hose in here, or, or just leave the power steering pump in the boat all, 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 all the way. Um, the back stud did not come out. It twisted and took the, it's still together. It's right there. So the stud didn't break loose. It just spun out of the block and it twisted off this wire, which is going to the firewall somewhere or the, the uh, transom. And it also twisted the harness, fuel ejection harness uh, wire off of it. I'll just splice a new connector on that and uh, solder that up. So this this uh, could not get it out in any other way. It's kind of a mystery how it 
spun out with trying to without trying to twist these yellow wires too so i don't understand that but anyway it was bitch to get out so that's out um like i say all that's left is get the front motor mount bolts loose or nuts loose power steering and then you'll be ready to lift out there's uh a lot of dirt on top of this throttle body and if i swipe my finger on it it kind of bunches up um i don't know how much dirt's got inside this motor but that's it'll tear up the ring so um i'll know more when i get it off all out of the boat and i want to understand so i can look at it better but um i'm gonna do a uh, compression test on it to make sure that the rings are not destroyed from all this dirt and I'll stick a uh, camera in one of the spark plug holes and look, see what condition the boards are in.